Welcome back to our channel. In the previous class we have calculated ASG1 and now I am going to calculate ASC and ASG2. So as we all know that ASC is area of steel in compression reinforcement. So as per IS 456. AC. We can calculate AC using the formula MU2 equal to FSC into AC into D minus D dash. I already know that. mu equal to mu1 plus mu2. Already we know that mu1 is mu limit and mu2 is this AS, FSC into AC in D minus D dash and mu is nothing but ultimate car moment carrying capacity. Already we have calculated mu using WL square by 8 formula. So already I came to know the values of mu and mu1. Uh, so directly from this I can, cal can calculate the value of mu2. So this is the moment to moment of the beam which is carrying moment of the section which is carrying both steel and concrete that is ASC and AST2. Now ASC already we know that ASC is area of compression reinforcement and FAC is stress in compression zone. And we can calculate this value using SP16. By the term D dash by D. So in SP16 you can find the values for D dash by D and using that you can calculate the value of FSC. And this FSC is stress. So obviously it is going to be in terms of Newton per mm square. So from SP16 d dash by d already we know the value of d dash by d d dash is nothing but effective cover and d is effective depth so obviously we are going to get the value as 0 0.11 and fi is 415 so using these two concepts i can calculate the value of fsc so fsc is nothing but d dash by d equal to 0 0.11 so either in your textbook or in SP16 you will be having the values for d, d dash by d. So d dash by d we are going to get in relation with steel. So I got the value as d, 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 d dash by d is 0 0.11 and for Fe415 d dash by d values will be in this way. For 0 0.1 it is 353. And for 0 0.11, we will have to calculate for 0 0.11. So, the obviously, this is going to be the unknown value. And for 0 0.15, it is going to be 342. And why should I take in this frame is the value what I need is 0. Point, for 0 0.11, I have to know the value of FSC. But in code, I am having in SP16 code, I am having the values for 0 0.1 and 0 0.15. So as the value 0 0.11 is in between 0 0.11 to 1, 0 0.15, I have to consider only in this way. If I am suppose if I got this value as 0 0.15, then directly I can take it as 342. But I got it as 3.11, 0 0.11, which is in between 0 0.1 and 0 0.15. So for that reason, I have to do interpolation. So by the method of interpolation, I can calculate the value of 0 0.11.
substituting you, go, you are going to get the value as 350.88 that is equal to y and directly that is equal to FSC. So now I have to I have done all these things to calculate ASC. So mu2 equal to FSC into ASC into d minus d dash. So substitute all the all now we are having all the data. So directly you can calculate the value of ASC. So by, by substituting all the values directly you can get the value of ASC as 207.11 mm square. As I told in the previous manner, you can calculate the number of bars also for ASC. Now calculation of AST2. So now calculation of AST2. So for calculating AST2, again we are having formula in the code. So already I know the values of FSC, ASC and FI and FI. So directly AST2 is going to be. So directly I am writing the value of AST2. So now I can have calculated AST1, AST2 and ASC. Now calculation of bars. Overall AST is AST1 plus AST2 which directly equal to Not seven mm square ASTV, AST and ASC. So, if I have to provide which type of bar I am going to provide. So, in tension phase, I am providing 20 mm dia bar and compression zone. Twelve mm diagon, twelve mm dia bar. So number of bars. Intention phase. 